Hey guys, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, you join us in the Sector 7 Undercity, uh, where we just got back off the train, God, did a bunch of fights, um, and made our way home. Uh, where we're supposed to be, our hideout, our safe haven, if you like. Uh, and yeah, time to check out where we live, see what the town's folk are up to, and uh, go see Tifa as well. But before I do any of that, before I do anything, we're going to look up in the sky. Because I'm telling you, if you haven't played this before, and this game's new to you, wait till you see this view. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Sorry, pardon my French, but it's, oh, it's gorgeous. So we're going to look up into the sky. Because, oh my god. That is beautiful. And I do not get bored of looking at that. So that's originally where we were. We were on this one here. And right underneath Cloud is where we were at the start of the game. We were on top of the Sector 7. Well, no, no, we weren't on top of the Sector 7 plate. We were at the Sector 8 plate. So I think it's... No, it's not that one. That's 6. So it's that one over there next to it is the Sector 8 plate. Um, but my god... It's just beautiful to look at. And that's just at night time. You, God, you wait. Um, but, apart from that, let's go Let's go talk to some people, shall we? Let's Are go see. Sure you haven't seen my husband? Uh, if I did, I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, a lot has happened. How are people here taking the news? It's got a lot of them worried. But not enough to stop them from partying, I guess. Don't they realize <laughs> what's happened? Unbelievable. Still partying, even though the chaos is going on. You see the huge explosion on TV? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a big one, that's for sure. Wow, am I hungry? Guess I'll stop by one of the food stalls. So, you hear that burger joint staying open tonight? Oh. No way, I kill for one right now. Yeah, you're telling me. Let's go get a burger. I want a burger. People talk, rumors Train spread, graveyard. kids get curious. You know how it is. Speaking of which, you hear it was supposedly a ghost, not a monster, that attacked that guy this afternoon? Oh. He must have been seeing things. Damn. Talk about weird stuff going down. A reactor bombing, train graveyard being closed off. What? The graveyard's closed? One of yep. the locals was attacked by some kind of monster. So the watch told people to keep out. They did. Interesting. But again, literally every NPC has got something to say and I love that. Makes the world feel alive. Ghost hunt. Go to the train graveyard. No, don't do that actually. Oh, that sucks. Never been so happy. He's really tall. You'd have no trouble spotting him, even if he was in a crowd. Sorry, it doesn't ring any bells. Please, you must have seen him. Oh. So, what do me and 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 the reactor have in common? Uh. Everyone gets pissed off when we stop working. <laughs> I love that. How about it, baby girl? How about what? For oh, what? Yeah. Let's go someplace a little less crowded, huh? Hey, oh, yeah. except the only place around here is the train graveyard, which everyone says is haunted. But that's cool, right? Uh, have a rain check? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you got nothing to say, dude. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, she said that. You guys got nothing to say? I guess not. Train services have concluded for the day. We will provide an update on the schedule first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you for your patience. 
Emergency train services have now concluded. This was the final train of the day. We apologize for the inconvenience, but please have a safe journey home. Luckily, then, we got the last train home. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Like, even though this is the slums, and it's like, you know, it's shitty, and it's basically just where all the poor people live. Obviously, all the rich live on the top, but I don't know. There's a, there's a coziness about it, I feel like. <laughs> you won't care where much is enough fried march. Handful or hear me out. A whole heap? I wish I could tell you, but sadly I don't share your passion for processed food. Oh, they had this one day in the bag. The nectar of the gods. <laughs> the nectar of the gods. Oh, look who it is. So the Mako reactor's broken? For now. But don't you worry. We're gonna fix it. It'll be up and running yeah, in no yeah. time. Really? That's great. Sure is. Whatever, sweetie. dude. All right. Sounds like a plan. I'm free tomorrow, so let's do it. I think he's over by the TVs. He's been watching the news this whole time. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. I want to know if they've caught anyone. I think this guy's pissed. <laughs> you okay, dude? You just off your face. I've never felt the ground shake like that. It was a big boom. What kind of person bombs a reactor? The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers all over the slums, I expect. Ah. That's what I heard on the train, anyway. Avalanche. That sounds familiar. Huh? Who's Avalanche? Uh. Bye. <laughs> Some Pleiades only had it so good because of the reactors. And this bombing's changed all that. Yeah, well, shoes on the other foot now. Let's see how they like fighting to survive. They're people too, you know. Yeah, they are. Some Pleiades only had it so good. Okay, you send the same thing. I'd never seen anything like it before. It was completely insane. Security was out full force looking for the bombers. I even saw a few helicopters. Wow, that sounds intense. Hello. It was like a giant candle lighting up the whole sky. It was. Even from where we were standing. Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. All that debris piled up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Not good. Huh. Mako was the lifeblood of the planet? Now the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? Oh. Uh, Cloud, you're all right, mate. The, you okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. Oh. It's those ghosts again. You again. Hmm. That hot shower can't come soon. God, I could just keep looking up. What's <laughs> this? Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. Huh. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. <laughs> Not Cloud's problem. You don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Move along now. Okay. Nope, just take that with me, apparently. Okay. Public security should know who did it. So. So you'll interrupt them while they're working? Come on, it's one little question. I'll interrupt them while they're working. Oh wait, lads. Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? <laughs> no, sir. 
Uh, these guys are funny. I think they say that something three times. Let me try again. In accordance with emergency regulations, entry into this area is prohibited. Please leave at once. Still too nice. <laughs> he's trying to train him up, but he's 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 being too nice. Apparently, it's funny. This area is off limits. Turn around and leave at once. If you don't, I'll have no choice but to use force. Now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, I love them guys. They're so funny. God, this game, man. Here we are, guys. The Sector 7 slums. Seventh Heaven. Idiots. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but security services are working tirelessly to identify those involved. If you have any information pertaining to the identity of the perpetrator, are they going to turn the reactor off? Why did people blow it up? Damn, it's all kicking off. I mean, it would be right. Like, look what happened. You got a bike there, buddy? What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? A man can always dream. Oh, I see a certain someone, and she's waving me over. I'll see you over there. Let's go say hello. the last time I saw a real one. Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Oh, guys, we're home. The Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Uh, seventh Heaven. The uh, the hideout of Avalanche, pretty much. Oh! I just found the best sign in the freaking world. Pizza, baby. <laughs> Anybody don't know is I love pizza. Eggs and chips, though. I'll go for some eggs and chips. So there's a little Easter egg in here. And you might have seen it already when I was panning the camera around. But if you look up here in that top corner, those pictures on the wall are actually the uh, pictures of the original bar from the original Final Fantasy VII. So what it looks like on the right, and then the left-hand side is the outside of the bar, which is pretty cool. I like that. It's a little, little nod to the original. Um... I was quite amazed when I found that. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> These are pictures of the original. That's so cool. So yeah, if you've uh, never seen that before, that's something to look out for next time you play. Oh, I just love this place, though. We've got darts. We've got a jukebox. Games. Volcano bomb. What's this? Golden time. What is that? Golden time pinball. 
Hey, Barrett. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Tifa. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. I mean, I guess so. Hey, Marlene. You little adorable thing, you. Uh. Hey! Uh, what the Barrett. hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Barrett, chill! Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering Daddy's lessons. <laughs> You know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Jesus, uh, Cloud. Right. About that, we should talk outside. Okay. She sounded a bit uh, worried about that. Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Yeah, I mean, underneath it all, you can tell that Barrett is one of the biggest softies ever. Like, yeah, he can be the tough guy and, you know, stands up for what he believes, but when it comes to his daughter, man, he's just so soft and... Just like a big bear. Let that be a lesson to you. Okay. When you want to talk to a little kid, don't go giving her the professional killer eyes. Duly noted. Thanks, Barrett. Ah, yeah, we get our first uh, music disc, I think. Jukebox. Use the jukebox to play your favourite tunes. You can add more songs to the jukebox by collecting music discs, which can be found in the field where their presence is marked with a music icon. Yeah, so the one that's playing right now is Tifa's theme. Or was playing. I think it is playing. It's just It starts off really silently. You can barely hear it. If we listen, we can hear it. Just. There we go. It takes a while for it to just get going. Yeah, that's pretty much the song that was playing just now when we got here. What's up, Teeth? Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Hell yeah. <laughs> Follow me then. Lead the way, girl. Was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Maybe maybe Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Not good at all. I am sure I need the best items so, today. You make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. Yeah, Cloud's definitely not a people person. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, it wasn't that bad? Oh no, it was. Yeah. Oh, right. It was bad. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Okay. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Oops. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Oh man, no decorating? Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. 
You did? Yes? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Okay. Who's in there? <laughs> nah. Uh, let's just go in. This is our apartment. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? 500 Sorry. gil? We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With Good boy, Cloud. Me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Bye, teeth. <sighs> Oh, look at that buster sword. Badass. Get some sleep, Cloud. Whoa. Wish I could get out of bed that quick. Guess it's time for introductions. That doesn't sound too healthy. Either someone's really hungry in that room, or they got a bad, uh, bad sign of the old, uh, you know what's. Who's in there? Well, it's still night time. Oh God, what's going on in there? Hey. You okay in there? Yeah, you doing good? Oh. Coming in. Oh no. <laughs> I love that cloud bangs his sword on the doorway because it's too big. Sephiroth? I don't think that's Sephiroth Cloud. Stop! Get back inside! Get off me! Yeah, it's not Sephiroth. Calm down, dude. Problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. <sighs> Morning, cloudy boy. How are you sleep in that armor? And your hair is still perfect. Life in the slums. Morning. Yeah, check this out, guys. Look at this during the dark. I mean, nighttime was pretty, but. Dude. Oh, that's a door. Don't worry about the door. So pretty. Marco, you alright in there? No, apparently not. 
think. Yeah, there's a ladder here. There's a chest. Tough to Phoenix down. Lovely. So, yeah. Cloud having another one of those dodgy visions and thinking that was Sephiroth and it wasn't. Hello. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her... I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Loud and clear, ma'am. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Well. Oh, look at this place, dude. So, uh, there's something that I found here. Well, I found. It was something I come across. If you're familiar with the voice actor of Final Fantasy X, who plays, uh, I call him Tidus, let's not get into that argument. Uh, he's actually a few NPCs in this game, and the first one that I found of him is one of these three guys over here. I think he's the third guy that speaks, so if you listen out carefully, you can tell that it's him. I believe his name is James Arnold Taylor, but let's, let's go and have a listen. You'll recognise it. Disasters cost a lot of oh, this is him. livelihoods. Shinra needs to do something to show the people they're on their side. At the end of the day, it's just a couple. You can instantly tell that's him. Own. But I oh, thought that was cool. Uh, so yeah, we will explore Sector Seven a little bit more, but we're going to go to we're going to go to Seventh Heaven to right now. It's a sad day when people care more about what's in the wall. Eggs and chips. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <laughs> okay. Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <laughs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place, and it's easy money too. We bring new filters, <laughs> Cloud's just like, Aww. and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please. Oh come on, Cloud! You got it for Tifa. Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Sounds good. Teeth, you so you so good. But uh oh. oh no, we had that already, didn't we? I don't think there's anything else that I've missed while we were in here. <laughs> Can hear a cat meowing though. But, uh, yeah. Let's go see go what teeth. and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't yeah. worry. We'll pay you the difference so after. Just don't Barrett's out making his rounds, too. Don't take your eyes off as long as I get it all to win. Take your time now, okay? Oh, another music disc. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take yep. your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal. 200 gil. 
If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. <gasps> Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. Oh, yeah. I want to take a look. Um, all right, let's have a look. Well, we're getting the prelude because uh, these music discs are actually uh, part of a side quest. Well, they're their own side quest. Basically, we've got to collect them all. So, yeah, we're going to get the prelude. The Final Fantasy prelude. I think we're good for items for now. Uh, we could get a couple of antidotes, I guess. Um, materia. I'm actually going to buy another lightning materia. Uh, an ice one, not just yet, because we can find one of those soon. But I think for now that'll do. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around. Okay. Oi. Hands off. Know when your filter next needs changing. Your butthole. All the items you can want straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? <laughs> My style. <laughs> to get free shit? Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Okay. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. Hey, Marl. Hey, Marl. Got some filters <laughs> What she for said. Tifa. My dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I love that line. I'm Are doing my best. Sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor. Am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. Another 200 gil. Take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Rest spots. Taking a break at a rest spot recovers all your HP and MP. Rest spots include your own bed, blue benches next to vending machines and other locations. Okie dokie. Uh, seriously? Yeah, you keep walking. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. But never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. <gasps> weapon store, baby. Don't try anything funny, or you'll get it. The kids seem to think you're pretty cool. Excuse you. The pretty cool part, I'll agree with. Hey, that last filter didn't do shit. We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! Alright. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for the 200 kill. With our rounds and you've got a small fortune now? Why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barra be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? Sure. If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. 
It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? You know. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. So, about those weapons, dude. Have you got any? I ain't got nothing for a punk-ass bitch like you! Get on out of here! I'll take that as a no, then. I wonder. I think there's any way they can make our go. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. Friendly staff. Yeah. Whatever. Alright, Tifa's over there. But I think, guys, for now, we're about... Uh, nearly the 40 minute mark. I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, get ready because we're going to be spending quite a bit of time in Sector 7. I nearly said Sector 5. Not That's not yet. <laughs> we're going to be spending a bit a bit of time in Sector 7. So uh, I hope you're going to enjoy it. We're going to be doing some side quests and just exploring more of the town. Uh, and getting some new cool material and stuff like that. But that all will be next time. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please drop a like on this video. Helps me out a bunch. Share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, as well as that, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya.